Good morning. I am Devas Ena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about video amplifier MC1550. This topic is present in the subject linear integrator circuits. Video amplifier. A video amplifier has to amplify signals over a wide band of frequencies, say up to 20 megahertz. For faithful reproduction of the picture, the shape and form of the video waveform must be preserved during amplification. The shape of the complex waveform depends only on the frequencies contained in the signal but also upon the relative phases. It is therefore necessary that all the frequencies must be amplified equally to maintain the same relative amplitude and the relative phases of all the frequency components in the output must be same as the input. Video amplifier is essentially a wideband amplifier with bandwidth from DC to high frequency up to few megahertz. The simplest wideband amplifier is the conventional RC coupled amplifier. We know that the frequency response of the RC coupled amplifier is limited by coupling capacitor at the low frequency and by the stray shunt capacitance at the high frequency. In a wideband amplifier, such a frequency response of the RC coupled amplifier is extended using compensated networks. At the low frequencies, the problem may be eliminated by direct coupling, which is readily possible for one or more limited number of stages. In circuits with the capacitor coupling, suitable compensation for low frequency response is possible. The DC being restored by DC restorer diode clamping circuits. High frequency compensation can be achieved by shunt series peaking coils in the load circuits. These coils help increase the effective load impedance. So far we have discussed about the brief introduction about the video amplifier. Let us discuss about the IC MC1550 as a video amplifier. Figure shows MC1550 as a video amplifier. Here is a representation of a video amplifier MC1550. As it uses a cascode amplifier path, the video amplifier is called cascode video amplifier. The transistor Q1 is a common emitted amplifier. Here is a representation of a transistor. And transistor Q3 is a common base amplifier. And they together form a cascode amplifier. Here is a representation of a transistor Q3. To properly terminate the coaxial cable carrying the video signal, a 50 ohms resistance is connected between the pins 1 and 4 of MC1550. The arrow mark indicates the 50 ohms resistance. Such a small resistance has very negligible effect on the biasing of the transistor Q1. The load resistance RL is directly inserted in the collector of the transistor Q3. Here is a representation of the load resistance RL in the circuit of video amplifier MC1550. So far we have discussed about the operation of the video amplifier MC1550. The figure shows the small signal approximate equivalent circuit for video amplifier. Here is a representation for the 
small signal approximate equivalent model for the video amplifier MC1550. We'll discuss in brief in the further slides. Referring to the figure B, both Q1 and Q3 are operating in their active region. Therefore, the collector of the Q1 sees the very small input resistance of RE2 parallel RE3 of the two common base stages in parallel. By representing Q1 in hybrid pi model and due to very low load on Q1, we can neglect the effect of C suffix C. Q3 can be represented as a current source alpha 3 I3 where I3 is the emitter signal current of Q3 and alpha suffix 3 is equal to 1 and is independent of frequency over the band of frequencies under consideration. C suffix S yes, represents the capacitance from the collector of Q1 and Q3 to the substrate. Here is the voltage gain for the video amplifier. V0 by VI is equal to minus alpha 3 gm divided by R suffix E3 into R suffix BB dash into the numerator 1 divided by we have three components open bracket 1 divided by 1 by rbb dash plus 1 divided by rb dash e plus s into c suffix e the second component is 1 divided by 1 by r e2 plus 1 by r e3 plus s c suffix 3 into the third component is 1 by RL plus S into C suffix S plus C suffix L. This is the voltage gain obtained for the small signal analysis of the equivalent circuit of the video amplifier MC1550. The emitter based diode incremental resistance R suffix E is given as R suffix E is equal to eta into V suffix T divided by I suffix E, where I suffix E is the QC and emitter current. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends. Thank you.